Welcome to our channel, where we explore the realms of personal growth and success. Today, we delve into the transformative insights of Tim Ferriss' book, Tribe of Mentors. In this empowering guide, Tim Ferriss embarks on a journey to uncover the strategies and habits of high achievers from various fields. Whether you're seeking career advice, life lessons, or a dose of motivation, this book offers a treasure trove of wisdom. So, let's dive into the summary of this incredible book. But before we dive into the content, I kindly request a moment of your time to appreciate this video by liking it, subscribing to the channel, and ringing that notification bell. Your support means a lot to me. Thank you so much. Tribe of Mentors by Tim Ferriss shares the wisdom of successful people from various fields. It features their routines, favorite books, quotes, and life-changing advice. Tim Ferriss, sometimes referred to as the human guinea pig, has conducted countless experiments on himself in a quest to find the best and most effective self-help techniques. His diligence has resulted in his best-selling four-hour series of books, which include The 4-Hour Workweek and The 4-Hour Body. He's worked as a consultant for top companies like Facebook and Twitter and hosts his own popular podcast, The Tim Ferriss Show. Tribe of Mentors is a collection of over 100 mini-interviews, where some of the world's most successful people share their ideas around habits, learning, money, relationships, failure, success, and life. Around the time he turned 40, Tim Ferriss fell into a sea of questions. The man himself barely needs an introduction. After building and automating a multi-million dollar supplement business to the point where he had plenty of time and money, he wrote the de facto blueprint for leaving the rat race in 2007 the four-hour workweek. The book reached instant bestseller status and catapulted Tim into an entirely new career path as a book author and content creator. The four-hour body and the four-hour chef followed. Then the Tim Ferriss show, a highly successful podcast, which lead to a four-year book break. However, 200 interviews and 300 million downloads later, Tim had to preserve all his findings for bibliophiles, which lead to tools of titans. Given he had so many answers, you'd think by now, Tim would be out of questions. Quite the opposite. Feeling a little directionless after the big four to zero, Tim decided he'd assemble a tribe of mentors and ask them all the same 11 questions about books, habits, investments, attitudes, and lessons learned. The result is a fun little compendium of advice from the best. Some will shock you, few will suit you, fewer yet serve you, but that's precisely the point. You grow with the book rather than out of it. Here's a sneak peek of three lessons. Failure holds a lot of chances, if you look for them. Learning to say no in new ways helps you make a long-term habit of it. Always check why you should not take someone's advice. Then decide if you'll listen. Wondering what Tim's tribe of mentors has told him? Well, wonder no more. Lesson 1. There are three hidden opportunities in each failure. Rick Rubin is a legend in the music business. The producer has worked with artists from every genre under the sun ranging from Linkin Park to Johnny Cash, Shakira, and Eminem. After dozens of award-winning albums, Rubin has learned one thing. You can't control the audience. Great records might flop, mediocre ones can take off. All you can do is set yourself the highest standard possible and stick to it. Stephen Pressfield, author of The War of Art, likes to use failure as an inflection point. If you continue to strike out, Maybe it's time to change the plan and work on a new aspect of your craft. Having been rejected by publishers for 15 years, Steve decided to toss it all for a while, move to Hollywood and learn screenwriting, which later helped him a lot in writing novels. Another valuable lecture about failure happened upon the Beastie Boys when their second album tanked. It gives you artistic freedom. Once you've hit rock bottom, you're free to be as creative and bold as you want, because no one expects great things from you anyway. To sum up, with each failure come three great opportunities. Learn to see what you control. Figure out where you need to improve. Freely express your ideas. Lesson two. Keep finding new ways to say no to not get sucked into the wrong commitments. The more you penetrate your field and establish yourself as an authority, the more people will clamor for your attention. It is usually right when exponential growth is about to kick in and thinking becomes more important that the world will fight hard to keep you from it. We all know what the solution to this dilemma is, saying no, but it's very hard to actually practice. 
One way to consistently keep your commitments in check is to find new ways to say no in order to be more aware and let less yes slip through the cracks. Here are some Tim's idols suggested. Hire someone to manage your mail and appointments and train them to say no to 99% of all incoming requests. If you can't afford staff, pretend you're the security professional and screen your mail as if you had to protect yourself. Ask yourself whether you're only thinking about agreeing because you feel guilty or afraid. Those aren't good reasons. Imagine the event happens early the next morning and you'd be in a huge rush to go. Would you still want to? No is a powerful world, but there's another side to this story. Gary Vaynerchuk, digital marketing genius, says he still reserves 20% of his time to say yes to things that might seem like they don't make sense. This way, he accounts for serendipity and remains open to what the future brings. Lesson 3. Before you take advice, check all potential reasons not to, then decide. This is a book full of advice, but as Tim explains in the intro, he's aware that most of it isn't for you. Only a very small selection of tips from his mentors will have the power to change your life. Some might be helpful, but most will never apply. That's perfectly okay, as long as you stay aware of it. We live in a culture of glorified advice, when very little of it comes from the right people, and even less of it at the right time. Some of the categories of advice you should always seriously question, before absorbing any, include reducing quality in favor of marketing. Yes, the world has become a noisy place, but the cream always floats to the top. Being competitive and guarding your ideas. Nine out of ten times, sharing leads to improving rather than stealing. Swimming with the stream. Don't nod if you don't agree. Teams thrive on multiple opinions. Expert opinions. Most authorities got to be authorities because they broke the status quo. Maybe now it's in their best interest to protect it. Think about that. All of this goes for this summary. Don't take my word for it. Or Tim's. Reflect, balance perspectives, then make your own decisions. Always. This is described as a choose-your-own-adventure book, but it's better than that. It's a flip to a random page and learn something book, perfect for reading in short, daily doses. However, you can just as well filter the advice strategically if you want to come up with a more elaborate plan. Tribe of Mentors feels like the book Tools of Titans should have been and for reapproaching that concept alone, Tim has once again earned my respect. Tribe of Mentors is an insightful collection of interviews with mentors, highly regarded professionals who are widely considered to be leaders in their respective fields. To understand the secrets of their success, Tim Ferriss asks these mentors a variety of questions, from what are your favorite books to what are your daily habits? The answers add up to a trove of useful tips for getting to the top. Tribe of Mentors is a book that shares wisdom and advice from a diverse group of successful people. Here's why you should read it. Featuring insights from over 100 accomplished individuals, it provides a wealth of practical knowledge and diverse perspectives. This book offers a wide range of topics, including health, career, relationships, and happiness, making it relevant and applicable to different aspects of life. With its authentic stories and valuable lessons, it keeps readers engaged and motivated throughout, proving that personal development can be enjoyable and enriching. Here is a sentence showcasing the greatness of a quote of this book. Ray Dalio says he enjoys the unusual habit of reflecting on painful mistakes. Tim Ferriss. Those are the individuals who truly deserve to immerse themselves in this extraordinary book. Those seeking life advice from highly successful individuals. Readers who love self-help books. Anyone craving insight into the lives of famous people. The 27-year-old writer, who hasn't done all the necessary work, but is impatiently waiting for the results. The 42-year-old recent dad, who can't manage to cut down on work, and anyone who felt disappointed when they realized all the advice they tried didn't work. Tim Ferriss presents a collection of interviews with influential individuals, each sharing their unique strategies for success. From entrepreneurs to artists, Athletes to Scientists, Tribe of Mentors provides a diverse range of perspectives to inspire and guide you towards your goals. Discover how these mentors tackle challenges, overcome setbacks, and maintain peak performance in their respective fields. Through their stories, 
you'll learn valuable lessons on resilience, time management, goal setting, and much more. One of the key themes of Tribe of Mentors is the importance of self-reflection and introspection. By asking thought-provoking questions and reflecting on your values and aspirations, you can gain clarity and purpose in your journey towards success. Tim Ferriss emphasizes the role of mentorship in personal growth and development. By identifying mentors who align with your goals and values, you can leverage their insights and experiences to accelerate your learning and progress. As you immerse yourself in the powerful narratives and practical advice of Tribe of Mentors, you'll be inspired to unleash your potential and strive for excellence in all areas of your life. Remember, greatness is within reach when you embrace the wisdom of mentors and chart your course towards success. In Tribe of Mentors, Tim Ferriss curates a tapestry of wisdom from a wide array of mentors, each offering a unique perspective on success, happiness, and fulfillment. Whether you're a budding entrepreneur, a creative maverick, or a seasoned professional, this book has something for everyone. Explore the minds of industry titans, visionary thinkers, and trailblazers who have carved their own paths to success. From practical tips on productivity to profound insights on purpose, Tribe of Mentors is a treasure trove of knowledge waiting to be unraveled. Dive deep into the principles of peak performance, resilience, and self-improvement as you traverse the pages of Tribe of Mentors. Learn how to harness your strengths, navigate challenges, and cultivate a mindset of continuous growth and learning. Tim Ferriss encourages readers to embrace discomfort, take risks, and challenge their limiting beliefs. By stepping outside your comfort zone and embracing failure as a stepping stone to success, you can unlock new opportunities and reach new heights in your personal and professional life. One of the core messages of Tribe of Mentors is the power of mentorship and community. Surround yourself with supportive mentors and like-minded individuals who can inspire, guide, and push you to achieve your goals and dreams. Here are some valuable insights extracted from this captivating book. I believe you will find them highly beneficial. Feel encouraged to explore its wisdom further and let it spark new perspectives and ideas on your journey. 1. To help you grow and succeed, turn to books that inspire and stimulate you. The word success means different things to different people, but most of us would agree that being known to the world as a leader or a mentor is indicative of a high level of accomplishment. That's why, when trying to pinpoint the habits of successful people, the author interviewed a series of renowned leaders and mentors. So what did he discover? If asked to list the habits of success, you might not put reading at the top, and yet the author found that, for many leaders, books are an important source of inspiration. For instance, the British journalist Matt Ridley, whose books on science and economics have sold millions of copies and been translated into over 30 languages, cherishes The Selfish Gene by Richard Dawkins. Dawkins's book not only provided Ridley with an answer to that most pressing of questions, what is life? It revolutionized how people write about science and think about evolutionary biology. In general, the books that mentors hold dear tend to offer spiritual or personal guidance. Both the talk show host Jimmy Fallon and the actor and former NFL star Terry Crews value Viktor Frankl's man's search for meaning. Fallon believes the book made him a better person, and it keeps Crews focused on what's truly important in life. Social science researcher and TED Talk superstar Dr. Breen Brown says that Harriet Lerner's Why Won't You Apologize? revolutionized her approach to apologizing. And then there's that infamous book, The Fountainhead by Ayn Rand, which taught Wired Magazine co-founder Kevin Kelly the importance of self-reliance. So much so that he dropped out of school after reading it. Five-time Grand Slam tennis champion Maria Sharapova gained priceless insight into happiness from The Beggar and the Secret of Happiness. A True Story by Joel Ben Izzy. Even children's books can contain life-changing insights. TED Talk curator Chris Anderson will never forget the way C. S. Lewis's The Chronicles of Narnia ignited his imagination. And, for Jimmy Fallon, The Monster at the End of the Book by John Stone continues to be a touchstone on the important subject of bravery. Two, failure can help you grow and improve yourself. Most of us, at some point in the past, have experienced at least one epic fail. Though such setbacks can feel insurmountable, 
it's crucial to pick oneself up and carry on. But it's even more important to try to learn from failure. For instance, Rick Rubin, who's produced countless Grammy award-winning records, is familiar with the fickle finger of success. Masterful albums sometimes flop completely, and mediocre ones sometimes go platinum. The lesson he learned from failure is this, you can't control how your work will be received. All you can do is stay true to your standards and make it the best you can. 3. Not all worthwhile investments are necessarily traditional ones. When you hear the word investments, you might think about the stock market, but an investment can mean much more than what happens on Wall Street. For mentors, the best investment you can make is one that takes your career to the next level. For self-improvement can come from joining a community, prioritizing, or seeing things differently. No matter who you are, there's always room for improvement, right? Well, the author was particularly curious about the methods mentors use to improve themselves. 5. Dealing with a work overload means saying yes to yourself and no to others. As the notorious B.I.G. track M.O. Money M.O. Problems affirmed back in the 90s, the more money we come across, the more problems we see. So the author asked the mentors about their techniques for dealing with the difficulties that come with success. What many agreed on is the need to reset and recenter yourself from time to time. 6. Focus on your passion and don't fret about the future. If there's one common question that mentors get, it's something like, what piece of advice would you give someone who's just starting out in their career? When the author brought up this question, many of the mentors said that it's crucial not to get distracted by fears about the future and instead focus on the now. 7. Don't follow advice just because it's trendy or other people are doing it. We've heard a lot of good advice, but maybe you're curious about the worst advice the mentors have received. Ed Cohn, who's set 71 different weightlifting-related world records, warns people against adopting techniques just because they're new and trendy. Remember, there's a good reason to trust the tried and true fundamentals that have stood the test of time. Remember to value yourself and others. At one point, the author asked all the mentors to consider what piece of advice they would give to everyone in the world if given the opportunity. Many of them focused on asking people to be good to one another. As you embark on your own journey of growth and self-discovery, remember that greatness lies within you. By embracing the wisdom and insights of mentors, you can transcend your limitations, unleash your potential, and create a life that truly reflects your values and aspirations. You can find the link to acquire a copy of this incredible book in the description below. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening exploration of Tribe of Mentors. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you found this book summary helpful, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more book summaries and insightful content. And share this uplifting summary with someone who may benefit from hearing them. Leave a comment down below if you've read this book or have any other recommendations for us. Stay tuned for more empowering content and resources to help you thrive and excel in all areas of your life. Remember, the path to success is illuminated by the wisdom of mentors. Until next time, keep striving, keep growing, and keep elevating.